All right, guys, getting a little bit done on the sand rail here and there. Got it all wired up and everything. Give you an update on this in my next video, but ran across a little issue here I want to talk to you guys about. Now, I needed a key ignition. Now, I bought this up at the local parts store. See, everything's labeled. Battery. Accessories. Ignition. And this middle tab here is the start. Now, I'd wired it up and I kept having the problem where as soon as I put the key one click over into the on position, it'd start cranking. So it shouldn't do that. It should only do that when you're in the spring load and bounce back. That's when it should uh, make power that contact. So uh, I'd disconnect all the wires, test the switch. Switch kept testing out good. I'm thinking, well, what, what, what's going on here? You know, hook it all back up. It works, it don't work. Um, it screwed me up. I mean, it took me a couple days to figure it out. But today I'm going to tell you about that. All right. Now, I lost the key for this one. I took back the last two that I had because they were junk. And uh, this is the same one. Now, I was able to just put a screwdriver in here and uh, get the ignition or the key to start moving or the screwdriver to work just like a key. So, that was one thing I didn't like, but that's not what this video is about. Um, I'm going to set the camera down real quick and set this up, and I'll show you what I'm saying. Alright, I got the key ignition in the vise now. I got my multimeter here. I got it set on continuity. So, if I touch these two together, it should beep. Which it does. So, I'll stick one of these on battery that's where the power will be coming in and I was able to just hit it put a screwdriver in here and hit it with a hammer and uh works right, let me wiggle it a little bit there we go works just like it will with a key in there so that was one thing I didn't like so I'm in the on position right now so I should have power to ignition and accessories the way this switch works. Power to the ignition, power to the accessories. Nothing on the start, which that's right. Now, I should have power to the start when I turn it all the way to where the spring is. I'm in the on position, I'll turn it. Hear the meter? That's working just like it should. So I'd have my wires on there, I'd pull the switch off, test it. Everything's working right. Hook my start wire back up. Snug it down with my fingers. No power. Power here, power there. Put a wrench on it. And this ain't cranking on it or nothing. Tighten it up, snug. Still in the on position. Power there. Power to ignition, no power to accessories. So I have power at the start right now and I shouldn't. If I hook this on here, hear my meter beeping, turn it all the way where it should start, it goes off. Let go, power, goes off. So then that's the opposite of what it should be doing. So let me tell you. <laughs> Tearing it apart, going back through my wires, searching it all out. Disconnect it, test it. Hey, it's working like it should. No power to start, tighten it. No power, all right, it's good. Testing out right, snug it up. Power, so. Watch out for that. If you're having a problem, if you got it cranking while you're in the on position, make sure your switch isn't faulty. I checked this one numerous times, taking it apart, checking it, everything's right. And then snug it up because it seems right. You'd probably test at the factories being right. And then shorts out. So this was a doorman I picked up at the local parts store. 
see if I can do this, there we go. Do not get one of these ignitions. So there you go guys. Stay tuned and I'll have an update on the sand rail. Thanks for watching.